You gotta do the shot of the coffee making. Well, here we go. Yeah, I'm old. No special coffee making here. You might be able to see in the background, or we'll see it better down here. We had a storm last week, and so off camera, I will be taking that generator and putting it away. But, God, it's a beautiful day out. As you can see, somebody flipped a switch here and all of a sudden it's winter time. And so me being the king of procrastination, I have neglected my snow plow. I was gonna put the mount on last week and didn't do that. I have a brand new winch to put on it. And what we're dealing with or what we're working with is this guy right there. You can see I've carefully stored it outside in the weeds. So, let's get to it. Man, it's a little chilly out this morning. Got my, I don't know if you can see it, my special insulated coveralls for a special dude. That, this, that was, this guy is gonna be way too short. Let's see if I got a spin. This is a floor jack. This is the block of wood holding it up. This is the mount. And we're just running some bolts down in. Get a better view over here. So these little knobbers fit into the snow plow and then it, get, it has a winch attached to it which in turn is connected to that. See we've got a winch on this little setup and we're going to be taking this guy off and I have a brand new 3500 pound winch Oh, right here in the box. So we'll be putting, whoa, <laughs> this guy on. All right, so we will be unboxing this winch I bought about six months ago in anticipation of this project. I got all I had these on sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it is the Badlands X or ZXR 3500 Power Sport Winch, which is about the same weight. the The one I had on there was too small. I'm gonna get overloaded. Let's see what Badlands gives us. Directions where we're going. We're not gonna need those. Maybe. Let's see how. Oh, that's a cutie. Little cutie there. Let's see what else other goodies we get in here. Good, it's got steel cable on it, which will be good for our application. Very typical winch mounting setup. Holy smokes, we got a lot of stuff in here. Got a controller, which I like wired controllers. Oh. We've got a handlebar mount for it, which will be nice, I guess. Controller extension, good Ely Bob. A little bit of hardware. Badland strap, we're not going to need that. Wires, bits and bobs. Oh, fair lead, that's good. Some cables. Shackles and a hook, half inch shackle, which is whatever, and I think that's it for something heavy in here. Let's see what we got going, oh, we've got us a solenoid here, it looks like, nice color coded. Not very weather sealed, but we'll make that work. And we'll get rid of the box. Oh, come on now. Prove that. 
Awesome. Get those guys mounted up, and that'll be it. Well, on the back side back here where the block is holding this whole arrangement up, we'll go with the solenoid, and then we'll work on some wiring. Right? We'll bolt this right in there. Most of the stuff you see bolted in this shop is, <laughs> I usually have a plethora of quarter 20 stuff. So we'll get back to this in a second. What we have here is the Badlands XD ZXR3500. And if you'll give me a moment here. So what we're doing is I've got her mounted up to the snow plow. Basically this winch line goes down to the blade, pulls it back and forth. I've got the fair lead. This is all factory hardware. I have the very janky solenoid system. It attaches like the control wires using these super tiny screws. I did a little bit of soldering here. As you can see, I've got an Anderson plug which plugs into the front of the car. I haven't quite worked out my control and control wire situation, but that's plugged in. So I'm gonna hop in the Bronco and pull it in here and we should be able to hook this up via the Anderson plug and I've wired it, I actually cracked the directions. So this guy should spool out and spool in. We'll use it to spool out and connect up and we'll kind of see where we go from there. Maybe I'll hook it up to the car. Let's see if the smoke escapes. Okay, that's the reason I like Anderson plugs. Now, we can move this over here and hopefully capture, we should be good to go, out. Well, I'll be doggone. Well, it seems pretty darn solid. All right, so I will be connecting up the winch line to this point down here that's out of view of the camera right now. Ah, come on, you know. You two get do stuff, dumb stuff on YouTube. Oh my gosh. This is more work every year. This is why I don't like doing this. Let's just do that. Hopefully you got a view of it. I can't see the viewfinder. Oh, that worked easier than I thought. All right, there's a couple pins here. That theoretically. We have the controller here, and it works. So we've successfully repurposed an ATV winch from Harbor Freight. It's a Badlands ZXR3500 to get my no-name knockoff mismatched snowplow in operation. So you might have seen, I might have taken some shots outside, but. It started to snow where I live. It's the beginning of November. We are going to be putting this snow plow to use. So this was something, I'm like a master procrastinator. I never get anything done really. So here I am, it's 35 degrees out. I'm out in my shed and getting stuff done just because I know if I don't, like right now this is done. So it probably won't snow for the rest of the year, which will be fine. Or if I didn't do it, we'll have three feet of snow next week. So that's kind of my thought process. It's just a little bit of insurance. I am going to stage this thing in this shop, 
in coming weeks we'll film some videos out here I got some plans anyway right where you guys are sitting right now it's gonna go up there the shot that, that you see me working in in the shed is about well not about it's I pay for it it's 30 feet long so there's plenty of room unfortunately I'm a pack rat so I got stuff and crap stacked up everywhere so I'm going to be doing spending the rest of my afternoon, in addition to editing this week's video, which, you know, you're welcome, I will be cleaning out a, a spot, that's what I tend to do a lot, is clean a little spot here, clean a little spot there for different stuff. So that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my day, in addition to editing this video. I appreciate you hanging along this, hanging out this long, I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and I look forward to something, maybe something exciting next week, probably not, but at any rate. Thank you for watching. We'll need, but, oh, this may not work at all. All right, on second thought, that's not gonna fit on there, and I don't wanna use a hook to hook that on. So, it's back to the drawing board, boys. <laughs>